as it's almost sort of eight different cities with different uh, factors, different ability, like there's different reasons people buy into different areas of LA. Um, you can't really look at LA as one whole market. However, we really focus on the west side um, and we focus on Venice, Santa Monica, Brentwood, Beverly Hills, uh, Bel Air, Pacific Palisades, and sometimes up to Malibu. Uh, and that is um, a very, very strong market at the moment. There is not that sort of fear of a bubble that actually I come across quite a lot in our industry. Um, a lot of our buyers are very concerned always, especially first time buyers, that if they're gonna buy a home, uh, that the market may crash next year and they've overpaid for it and therefore they're in sort of negative equity on their home. Um, I don't have that fear for LA. It's not as if the prices in the markets that we work have been running away. It's not as if they've been increasing to a level where um, it's not sustainable. Uh, and obviously with um, Silicon Beach and the sort of Venice uh, market emerging, uh, there's a lot of companies here now that are paying employees a lot of money. Um, so there is an influx in terms of uh, a lot more buyers with a lot more buying power able to buy in the area and wanting to buy in these areas. Uh, but it's not as if uh, there's sort of multiple bids driving the uh, price up to a ridiculous level. We've had a sort of period over the last two months where there's been very, very little inventory coming to the market. Um, and there's still a lot of buyers out there and money is very, very cheap. So you can now get a uh, 30, sorry, 10 year um, mortgage uh, at up to four million, I believe, is what our mortgage broker told us yesterday for three and a quarter percent a year APR. So that is probably the cheapest money that I've ever seen in, in my real estate career. So uh, obviously that is fueling um, a lot of buying power in, uh, in the buyers that are trying to buy in LA. And obviously there's no cap there. If you're able to borrow up to four million, um, you know, you don't need necessarily the hugest down payment to buy some of these insane houses.